Hello friends, we are going to do the closest thing I have to an evening routine right now. Um, this is my winter routine on a night where my husband has to work on an evening. So I'm just going to spend the night doing fun, calm activities by myself and it's going to be a blast. My evening routine really starts with my work wind down routine, which is really just where I straighten up my desk, I close anything on my computer that I'm not going to need or needs to be closed, and then I go through my task list and just check off everything that I did that day, write down any new tasks that I realized I'm going to need to do the next day, and move any tasks that didn't get done to a day that I know that I can do them. So. I just kind of go through, make sure I have a sense of what's coming up on the morning after, and then we're we're ready to wrap her up. <laughs> so I get packed up, but before I do, I actually am gonna make a quick grocery list. One of the things that we found that helps us to save money is to go to the grocery store more often. So I just made a little quick grocery list because I'm gonna stop by the store on the way home and I'm really just getting things for dinner and anything we might need for the next morning and lunch. So I went to Harris Teeter because I went there last week and it felt so fancy, so much fancier than the grocery stores I normally go to. And yeah, it made me feel like I had options. It was very fun. Maybe it's more expensive. I don't know, but I, it was worth it. The plan for dinner tonight is pizzas, and I've also just really wanted some fruit. I ate the last of my pineapple, <laughs> so I was ready for some oranges. And um, I'm not a thin and crispy person. I, I wanted regular pizza crust. But the first thing that I do when I come home is I put my phone somewhere, um, usually on the charging station or just kind of put it away. I think of my phone as like a work activity. I don't really like to be on my phone when I'm home as much as possible. We've also really liked, since it's starting getting dark earlier, just kind of turning on lamps, closing the blinds, makes me feel private. I also have a rule that I do not wear real clothes in my home, so as soon as I get home, I change into cozy clothes, and I just throw my clothes on the bed. Uh, and then I decided I wanted to do a little bit of yoga, a little bit of meditation. I try to do some form of movement every day, and most of the time that's yoga. Sometimes it's something else, but today yoga right here I'm starting off my practice with alternating nostril breathing it just like activates your parasympathetic nervous system makes you feel calm and right now this is my favorite yoga stretch it stretches out your hips your upper back your lower back and you just alternate which knee is in front and it's so so good so I just did a quick 15 minute practice and then it was about 6 p.m. so I was ready to start dinner I am making pizzas tonight, like I said. So I wanted to do one that was like mushrooms and mozzarella and then one that was more like a barbecue style pizza. I'll walk you through how I make them tonight. The first thing I'm doing is just sauteing up the mushrooms. I got, um, I think it's called Hen of the Woods or My Talkie Mushrooms. And then I'm chopping up some red onion to go on the barbecue pizza. And I'm doing the base. So this is the muff, mushroom and truffle pesto from Trader Joe's. I just figured it'd be a fun way to use up the rest of what we had. And it ended up being the perfect amount for this one pizza. I, I just buy the pre-made shells at the grocery store. I know that you could get like the dough or you can make your own dough. Like that's super easy, but it, it's not worth it for me. And then I use the sugar rays. Is it sugar rays? what is the barbecue sauce sweet baby rays uh barbecue sauce is the base for the other pizza and then i'm just putting those maitake mushrooms on the mushroom pizza those ended up being so good. I could just eat the mushrooms by themselves. And then I actually got chicken from the salad bar, just like strips of chicken and bacon bits. I don't like to cook meat, so it was nice to just be able to get it from the bar. I actually think I prefer this pizza 
without any meat on it after making it, but you live, you learn. Um, I also put red onions on that pizza and then cheddar cheese. And then on the mushroom, I did feta and mozzarella cheese. And while those are cooking, I cleaned up a little bit. I didn't like completely clean the kitchen, but I cleaned what I could. It only bakes for like seven to 10 minutes. I think I did 10, but honestly, you'll see the pizzas. I think I could have done longer um, and got them a little bit more browned, but yeah, I did some, I just did some cleaning up while that was in the oven. All right, and it immediately fogged up the camera. So um, to top off the barbecue pizza, I'm just doing some chopped cilantro. We love cilantro in this house. And I think barbecue sauce and cilantro taste so good together. So we did that, and then I just sprinkled some more barbecue sauce on top. And for the mushroom pizza, y'all, this pizza was my favorite. I topped it with arugula, and then I squirted that arugula with some lemon juice. And this is also what I had for lunch today. It is so good. I loved this pizza so much. I'll probably make it again before the month is over. So I just grabbed myself one slice of each and then <laughs> sat down to watch a little bit of YouTube. And today I'm watching Jen M. She does this cute thing called Jen Gobels. It's so sweet. And once that was over and dinner was finished, I realized I forgot to light the advent calendar candle today, so I lit the candle. And then I wanted to get some reading in. I usually read um, in the evenings or the afternoon, and then um, again before bed. But today, you know, Opes was at work, so I was like, why not read as much as I can? I'm trying to finish this book. I wanted to finish it today because I... I'm ready to, you know, just move on. But y'all, this book has been so good. I think Alice Munro may be one of my favorite authors of all time. I just am absolutely in love with her. This is my second book of hers that I've read and it's everything I want a book to be. So absolutely could not recommend more. Finally, Obi came home and he brought me golden milk from work. And this is the first time I've ever had the golden milk from their place. So here I am trying it for the first time and reporting back. I loved it. He told me it tastes like Fruit Loops. And this is me saying, whoa, it tastes exactly like Fruit Loops. <laughs> it tastes exactly like Fruit Loops. It's so good. And then we started watching the show Station Eleven. We usually, especially on weeks with just the two of us, We'll watch a show at night and this is the one we've just started and in my Christmas stocking Obi got me a cross stitch little pattern and so I've been cross stitching while we watch our show and drink a warm beverage and it's a really nice cozy winter activity in my opinion. Mine says please leave by nine <laughs> and after cross stitching watching the show I did some skincare I'm just washing my face I know I'm too rough on my face. You don't have to tell me. I rub it like crazy. I'm probably going to regret it one day. But right now, it just feels so good. <laughs> and, um, putting on my lip mask and my face mask. If you are curious about these, I talk about it in the favorites video I just did not too long ago. And this part of my night has weirdly become one of my favorites. I've started just throwing my clothes in the bed when I get home, which is out of character for me. But then right before bed, I kind of have this little ritual of hanging my clothes up that I don't want to wash. Because let's be honest, I'm not going to wash a pair of pants I wore once. I'm just not. So I'm hanging the clothes up that I don't think got dirty enough. And then I'm picking out my clothes for the next day right then. So sometimes I like to plan my wardrobe a week in advance, but I just find that in the winter that's not working for me. I wake up in the morning and nothing that I laid out is feeling quite right. And so I'm just doing it shorter increments. So right now I'm planning my clothes out the night before instead of like multiple days before. And I think the weather just changes so much more quickly in the winter that it makes sense to do it shorter increments but this is kind of like having my clothes on the bed is like the visual reminder for me to 
think about what I want to wear the next day and go ahead and pick it out. So that is what I'm doing here. And then after that, I just lay down in bed and read and enjoy my evening. Thank you guys so much for joining me for an evening at my life. And I will see you tomorrow for the next one.